Free Spirit Media, in partnership with the Gary Coma Youth Center, After School Matters, and the Medill School of Journalism, present FSM News. Hi, I'm Dominique Peters. And I'm Marquise Brown. And this is the FSM News team. Hello. Hi. Hi. Why don't you all introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Kimani, a Teen Talk reporter. I'm DeAndre, and I'm a sports reporter. Hi, I'm Sterling, a Teen Talk reporter. Hi, I'm Shamisha, and I'm a reporter. I'm Marshawn, and I'm a sports reporter. Hi, I'm Shaquille, and I'm a PSA producer. Hi, I'm Whitney, and I'm the producer. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Walker, I'm a PSA producer. Hi, I'm Sebastian, I'm the director and a reporter. Hi, I'm Joshua Jackson, I'm the technical director. Hi, I'm Shaquille Ransom, and I'm a reporter. Hi, I'm Mariah, and I'm a reporter. Hi, I'm Vanetta, and I'm associate producer. We wanted to tell you that we were on spring break, but not to worry. We picked out our favorite news stories from our previous newscasts. And some behind the scenes moments. You'll be able to see them in just a minute. We also wanted to thank you for supporting FSM News. We'll be back next week with more news, teen talk, and sports. Until then, enjoy this spring break special. Where are we going? To the Big Ten Network! <laughs> That's right. The Hoops High crew recently boarded a bus for the opportunity of a lifetime to go behind the scenes of the Big Ten Network. With an opportunity like this, it was hard for them to stay behind the scenes. You are watching Hoops High! What an awesome experience. The announcer set was amazing with the 108 inch plasma screen. To put things into perspective, that's about nine feet. The Hoops High crew learned a lot from producers and directors, and even had a chance to listen in on the filming of a live tip off show. Let's hope they were taking notes because there was so much to take away from this experience that could possibly impact their futures. Michael Wolf of the Big Ten Network knows firsthand what it's like to have dreams of a Big Ten career. He says he grew up watching Big Ten basketball and football. Since talking about athletics is one of his favorite things to do, the Hoops High crew seized the moment and asked Michael if he had any predictions for the upcoming March Madness games. You know, it's tough because there's so many talented teams. I, I'm going to be a homer and I'm going to say that I think Kansas is going to be there, but I think the team that they're going to be facing off against, I'm going to go with the Ohio State Buckeyes. I actually think Evan Turner is that good. We'll be watching to see if this prediction comes true. For now, this up close. This is Dave Revson from the Big Ten Network. Hi, I'm Steve Smith and you're watching Hoops High. And personal experience is one that the Hoops High crew won't forget. It's March Madness time. Get ready. Get your tickets. Final Four. Yeah. Nike has made a difference this year in honor of Black History Month. People from all over the city recently gathered for this special event at Nike Chicago headquarters. Everything we do tonight is about empowerment, right? So it's all about empowering the youth, it's about empowering our community, and making sure we're consistent with the legacy of Black history so we can honor the past and move forward tomorrow in a strong way. Tonight I am showcasing their 2010 Black History Air Force One. Tonight we are also celebrating youth, unity, and creativity. I find hope poetry. I boldly speak my mind and stand firmly upon my ground, my ambition and go get a drive and press the final jewel upon my crown. I am a force. From footwear to honoring prominent African American figures, Nike made an impact on many youth at this event. Nike is just not concerned with uh, putting nice shoes on kids' feet, but also making them aware of the community at large and uh, you know, helping them uh, reach their dreams, not just athletically, but also as individuals. Even donating proceeds to two nonprofit organizations, Free Spirit Media and Kumba Links, who expresses themselves through spoken word and dance. Kumba Links has been doing this for a long time, and they've been helping out uptown for the longest. And Nike, just supporting Kumba Links, is doing a good job as well. The contribution is appreciated from a crowd who supports Nike on many levels. 
Well, I think if you go into any high school, you'll see how we're influencing the community, influenced the youth, um, from the footwear that they're wearing to the athletes that, that people are following. So I think uh, we've always been at the cutting edge of style. We've always been at the cutting edge of, of what the culture wants. And so you'll see that when you go out into the streets and people making it their own. Along with the new release of Nike's 2010 Black History Air Force One, Several other Nike shoes were customized to represent a particular person that has made a difference in the black community. So like for example, Jacob Lawrence, famous African American painter, and uh, we chose to customize uh, his, his uh, paintings into the shoe. Some exclusive kicks, you know, your boy gotta keep his shoe game up. I mean, these are what I get tonight, I might not even wear, they might just get put up. Much props to Nike for organizing a positive and inspirational event for some of Chicago's talented youth. Man, make some steroids. The issue of youth violence is growing increasingly worse in Chicago, but some teens are taking a stand against it. Take a look and see how some students are getting together after school to express how youth violence affects them. A group of teens are getting involved to help stop violence in their community. They call themselves PACE, a unique entertaining and educational experience. With the recent growth of youth violence in our community, more teens are now cautious and becoming more aware of their surroundings. Now I have to worry about whether or not I'm going to actually make it home or are my brothers going to make it home or even if my mom's going to make it home. As the issue of youth violence continues to increase in our community, some teens are taking on the responsibility to speak out through a creative stage play. The audience mainly made up of youth members at the Gary Comer Youth Center were drawn to the play. You know what? You ain't the only person he make it, man. Now, I told him that he needs to stop running these streets like a little knucklehead. Many of them left more aware do and inspired. Well, I learned that you just got to walk away from certain stuff. All these gang, gang people and everything are just messing up our neighborhood more and kill all our CPS students, and that's not good. I'm just hoping that... Uh, the kids will take back control of their lives, to take control and just to say that we're not going to let this happen because if the kids don't care about themselves, then who will? PACE is a very ambitious organization and their work doesn't stop here. In the future, they plan to have many performances throughout the city of Chicago, at the University of Chicago, local hospitals, and other schools. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Shakiva Ransom. To request more information about the program, email PaceChicago at Yahoo.com. That's P-A-E-C-E -E, Chicago at Yahoo.com. Anchor handshake. Yeah. Good <laughs> morning. She calling my phone. Um, um, I think it would be, um, Get you to the crib. Thanks for watching our newscast. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with more news, sports, and team talk. Also, look us up on Facebook. Search FSM News, become a fan, and post a comment. See ya! Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society.